Welcome back to another college football video in which today we have an exciting ACC matchup between the UNC Tar Heels and the Clemson Tigers. Should be a fun matchup between the quarterbacks Drake May and Cade Klubnik as well as the head coaches Mac Brown and Dabo Sweeney. Let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win this game in real life and what do you guys think the score will be. If you like this type of content like and subscribe it really helps the channel out and i appreciate all the support so without further ado let's get straight into this one clemson will get the ball to start off the game and it is now third and eight and the quarterback tries to get it out to the flat but it falls incomplete and this will bring out the punting unit as clemson will now get the ball to unc and drake may here on first and 10, Jarek May is going to roll out to his right and hit his check down Bryson Nesbitt for a 9 yard reception. Here on third and 2, Drake May is going to give it to the running back Green who will gain 6 yards on the rush and get UNC a first down past Clemson territory right around the 48 yard line. It is now 2nd and 10 for UNC and Drake May is going to work the right sideline and get it to Nesbitt for a 26 yard reception and this will take UNC inside the red zone right around the 18 yard line. Now let's take a look at the replay right here as Drake May had a nice clean passing lane and pocket to be able to get it to his receiver for the nice gain. Here on 1st and 10 on the play right after Drake May is going to be able to hit Tez Walker for a 15 yard reception and this will set up UNC inside the 5 right around the 3 yard line for a first and goal. It is now first and goal and Drake May is going to give it to the running back Elijah Green as he gets into the end zone for a 4 yard touchdown run and UNC score the first points of the game taking a 7-0 lead over Clemson with a minute 41 left here in the first quarter. Here on 2nd and 10, the Clemson quarterback throws out of a sack and gets it to the slot receiver, which is Will Shipley, who gains 17 yards on the play. And let's take a look at the replay right here as he kind of ran a wheel route and gets out in the open for that nice gain. Here on 2nd and 7, the quarterback's going to hand it out to Will Shipley who gains 7 yards on the rush and gets Clemson another first down. It is now 3rd and 3 for Clemson and the quarterback's going to throw it to Will Shipley for a halfback screen. He is met at the line of scrimmage making it a 4th and 3 for Clemson as the first quarter will come to a close and UNC will take the lead 7 to nothing over Clemson. It is now 3rd and 10 for Drake May and company and the quarterback gets it to the crossing Nesbitt as he gains 29 yards on the play and takes it near midfield. Now let's take a look at the replay right here as number 15 subs in for Drake May as he got injured and gets it perfectly through the window to the wide receiver for the huge gain. Here on first and 10, the quarterback scrambles to the right-hand side of the pocket, throws across his body, and gets it to Nesbitt for a 14-yard gain and another first down. And Nesbitt has four receptions for 78 yards today, as it looks like Drake May can make it back into the game. And here on his first playback, Drake May will work the middle of the field and get it to Bryce Nesbitt for another 21 yard gain as the UNC Tar Heels get inside the red zone right around the 17 yard line. Great job by Nesbitt as he is nearing 100 yards on the day. Here on second and two Drake May is going to hand it off to his running back and Elijah Green takes it to the house for a 8 yard touchdown run and UNC increase their lead to 14 to 0 over Clemson with 232 left here in the second quarter here on second and six the quarterback's going to hand it out to the running back will shipley and he finds lots of space on the left hand side of the field and gains 11 yards on the play for the first down it is now third and one for clemson and they're going to hand it off to their running back shipley who takes it right up the middle and gains eight yards on the play for the clemson first down 
here on first and 10. Will Shipley has a play action pass and the quarterback works the right sideline and gets it to his receiver. It is ruled incomplete but it is going to be checked by the booth upstairs. And let's take a look at the replay here to see if he got a feet in bounds. And it looks to be like he does, so it should be a completed pass for the Clemson Tigers. And here on first and 10 for the Clemson Tigers, the quarterback goes into the pocket and finds a wide open Bo Collins down the right hand side of the field. And he breaks the tackle and gets a 27 yard touchdown putting up the first points for Clemson. And the score is now 14 to 7 with UNC in the lead with 59 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. It is now second and 10 for Drake May and UNC and he works the right side of the field and gets it to Bryson Nesbitt for a 13 yard reception. And they are looking to score before the end of the first half. Here on 2nd and 10, Drake May rolls to his right and finds a wide open Nesbitt as he gets out of bounds and gets a huge gain, taking it inside the Clemson 30. And looking at the replay right here, Drake May gets the ball off before the pressure gets to him and finds a wide open receiver. Here on 1st and 10, Drake May has time in the pocket and works the left side of the field and he gets it into a tight window as he gets it to J.J. Jones, Triple J, and the UNC Tar Heels are now in the red zone at the 15 yard line and they subsequently use their first timeout of the half. It is now 2nd and 8 for Drake May and UNC and he finds the open receiver down the middle of the field and it is Bryson Nesbitt for a 13 yard touchdown reception. And just like that UNC increased their lead as they take a 21 to 7 lead before the end of the first half. Here on 1st and 10 Clemson tries to force the ball and it is picked off by UNC and they will get the ball deep into Clemson territory and in field goal range as they take it to the Clemson 25 yard line and Cedric Gray has the first turnover of the game as he comes up with the interception. UNC will settle for a field goal attempt here as they take a 24 to 7 lead going into halftime. Here on 2nd and 11, Drake May rolls around to his right, throws across his body to the middle of the field, and finds an open receiver in Nesbitt, who gains 22 yards on the play, takes the ball near midfield, and that is a throw that many coaches would advise not to do, but Drake May does it anyway and gets a huge gain on the play. It is now 3rd and 10 for Drake May and company. He has lots of time in the pocket and throws it to the middle of the field to Elijah Green for a 13 yard reception and a first down. It is now 2nd and 11 for Drake May and he sits in the pocket and works the right sideline as he gets it to Tez Walker for a 21 yard reception. And taking a look at the replay right here, the receiver is able to create space and beat his man for the reception. UNC gets stopped on third down and here on fourth and goal they settle for a field goal kick as they increase their lead taking a 27 to 7 lead over Clemson with five seconds remaining here in the third quarter. It is now second and nine for Clemson and the quarterback throws it out to the flat and gets it to Antonio Williams for a 10 yard reception and a first down. It is now third and 10 for Clemson and the quarterback tries to force it to the left hand side but it is straight to the defender and Hardy comes up with the pick and that is two no turnovers on the day for Clemson and let's take a look at the replay right here as the quarterback threw it straight into the defender's hands. The Tar Heels get stopped on a three and out and the quarterback gets it to his receiver down the middle of the field but he fumbles it and UNC recovers the ball and just like that, that is two turnovers on two straight drives for Clemson. And that is not the way that they wanted to respond to this deficit. A great recovery by the UNC defense on both drives. Here on second and six, we have a man in motion. And they're going to give it to their running back straight up the middle. And he gains eight yards on the play for the first down. 
and this might just be enough for UNC to go into victory formation and run out the clock. And Drake May will do exactly that as he will take his offense into victory formation and run down the clock to triple zeros and UNC will defeat Clemson 27-7. Let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win this game in real life and what do you guys think the score will be. If you like this type of content stay tuned as we'll be covering both college football and the NFL all season long. If you're a fan of this type of content, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and I appreciate all the support and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.